Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Kansas City, Missouri. And we are going to be starting off with the first round in the Intercontinental Championship Tournament. Sami Zayn, a member of the Miz Network, is the first participant in this eight-man tournament, which will conclude as Clash of Champions. Our new general manager of Raw, Drake Maverick, has announced the eight-man tournament. The final two competitors will compete at Clash of Champions, and the winner will be the new Intercontinental Champion. And Sami Zayn, as I mentioned, a part of the Miz Network, looks to have an amazing opportunity here tonight as a new signee to the Miz Network and for Monday Night Raw, the premier athlete Tony Nese will be going one-on-one -on -one with his fellow Miz Network brother, I guess you could say. And as we all know, Sami Zayn joined the Miz Network along with Chad Gable and Brian Kendrick, but Brian Kendrick has been fired from the Miz Network. And there he is, the premier athlete, Tony Nice. Tony Nice, an amazing competitor. Wait, what is he? Is he about to say something? As you can hear from his little monologue, Tony Nese, very, he's a very arrogant individual. Perfect for the Miz Network, I must say. I mean, as, he, as you can see, he's donning the royal blue along with that famous Miz Network logo. I mean, maybe WWE should sue for copyright infringement, I don't know. But what we all know is that Tony Nese has eight reasons why he is the premier athlete, and he is here for this Intercontinental Championship Tournament. And here we go as Sami Zayn and Tony Nese squaring off in the middle of the ring. Look at this. <laughs> Look at the just, the gall of Tony Nese. Look at that. Oh, Sami Zayn throws a clothesline, but Tony Nese with a kip up and a kicks, just, a, oh, a flurry of kicks, knocking Sami Zayn right down. See, this is why, this is why Tony Nese says he's the premier athlete. I mean, I've never seen, oh, I've never seen such arrogance in somebody until I saw The Miz. And now Tony Nese, look at this, has Sami Zayn, has him up, but could be going for a Falcon Arrow, but Sami Zayn able to counter out of it. And, oh! Over the head with, with goes to Tony Nese. And you see Tony Nese, we saw that Sami, or rather The Miz was very adamant on having, on having Tony Nese in The Miz Network. I mean, he pretty much just gave him basically a spot on a golden freaking platter I mean Brian Kendrick showed it showed it to be in the Miz Network by turning on Jack Gallagher we haven't seen him since and look at this Sami Zayn trying to go for a brain buster but Tony Nese able to roll out of it drops him with a German suplex shoulders are down could have it here shoulders are down no Sami Zayn able to roll out and Sami Zayn and Chad Gable they were offered they were offered spots in the... Oh, look at this. Tony Nese off the ropes with a big boot. And there's a kick. Huge sidekick from Tony Nese. I mean, Sami Zayn and Chad Gable were offered spots because basically the Miz offered, look at this, into a pump handle. What is this? Wow! Pump handle gourd buster dropping Sami Zayn right on his face. What a unique move from Tony Nese, the premier athlete. And as we know in Tony Nese's arsenal, well you may not know, but Tony Nese in his arsenal has got the running Nese. Basically a huge knee strike into the corner and his famous 450 splash. 
I mean, is he going to be able to put away Sami Zayn here tonight? As Sami Zayn off the top with a wrist lock springboard DDT, dropping him right on his head. Sami Zayn just on the on the offensive at the moment. This crowd are on their feet. And look at this now, Sami Zayn. Look at that, jumps to the top with a crossbody. But Tony Nese able to slide out of the way before Sami Zayn could connect. And Tony Nese now drops him with another. I mean, Tony Nese just showing amazing prowess right now. Oh, drops him with a Michinoku driver. And you see, we still have no idea who else is going to be in this tournament. I mean... We knew that Tony Nese was going to be in it, but we did not know that the Mi that Sami Zayn was going to be into it. And Michinoku Driver, shoulders are down. But no, Tony Nese. Tony Nese not able to put away Sami Zayn quite yet. And Sami Zayn fires back with a huge left hand. And a forearm, but no, Nice firing back. I mean, you got to think, like, one of these men are gonna, not going to come out the winner. And look at this, once again, Tony Nese drops him with that pump handle gourd buster. You got to think that... Both of these men are part of the Miz Network, so there's going to be some bad blood either way as to, oh, who loses here tonight. I mean, the Miz was basically begging, and, oh, God, drops him with a knee. Oh, he's going to go for that, that combination again, kick to the head, and another. Miz was practically begging for these two to face each other as probably a showing of who could be better as a unit. Like, as as by themselves, not really as a unit. And look at this now. Sammy into the corner. Tony Nese able to roll out of the way before Sammy Zane could get the, get the one up on him. Drops him with a running running clothesline. Oh, Tony Nese just firing back. Just look at the physique of Tony Nese. And look at this now. Sammy. Oh, try to go for the Blue Thunder Bomb, but Tony Nese requires. Tony Nese requires judgment as he hits a super kick on Sammy Zane able to move able to move out of the way and there goes Sami Zayn over the top rope and ladies and gentlemen later tonight we will see the second the second match in the Intercontinental Championship tournament we will also see Sanity as they will go one on one with the B team Sami Zayn drops them with an Impaler DDT and our main event will be a triple threat match the winner the winner will go it's a clash of champions to face the United Kingdom champion Pete Dunne. Look at this, Sami Zayn, Arabian Press, not able to get Tony Nese. Tony Nese may be a, a little bit smaller than Sami Zayn, so Sami Zayn basically overshot him by mistake. And referee at a count of six, Tony Nese breaks the count. Oh! And what I was saying before was that we will have a triple threat match between Alistair Black, Andrade Cianamas, and Drew McIntyre. Winner goes to Clash of Champions. Oh! Tony Nese to try to hit a 450, but Sami Zayn rolling his knees up, able to stop it before Nese could get the one up. And now Sami Zayn has control of Tony Nese. Here we go. Blue Thunder Bomb into the pinfall. Could have it here. Two. No. Tony Nese rolls out of the pinfall. Oh. Sami Zayn with a huge forearm to the face. And no, Nice now. Nice now on the offensive. This just drops him down with a forearm. I mean, who do you think... I mean, it's a lot to think about in this match. Because we have a vacant... Oh! Sami Zayn tried to go for a Luva kick, but Tony Nice catching the foot, drops him with a power bomb. Just the unique power... Of Tony Nese is remarkable, and look at this pump handle power bomb! Wow, pump handle power bomb from Tony Nese. Shoulders are down. Could have it here, and no, Sami Zayn able to roll up the shoulder. Oh my God, that was amazing! Oh, Sami Zayn firing back. Oh, and again, Sami Zayn just just trying to knock out Tony Nese. I mean, can you win? Can you win one of these matches by knockout? Who knows? But. You know, it's got to be a lot to handle. And if you guys did not see last week's Monday Night Raw episode, John Cena made his surprise return as he was entered into the WWE Contendership Battle Royal, which he did not win. Dolph Ziggler was able to get out, was able to pull the rabbit out of the hat and was able to win the match. Oh, it looked like Tony Nese tried to, tried to take the turnbuckle off of its pad. and the, Oh, God. 
shoulder first into that power or no Tony Nice able to roll up his able to roll up his leg just hit Sami Zayn in the face and now Sami Zayn he's stuck in a corner but oh no Tony Nice look at this Tony into the corner with the running Nice hooks the leg shoulders are down could have it here Tony Nice moves on Sami Zayn has been put away. Tony Nese moves on to the semifinals of the of the Intercontinental Championship Tournament. The, Tony the Miz Network's newest signee showing an impressive debut. Look at that. Just the He's just the personification of perfection. Well, it looks like Seth Rollins is going to be, he will be competing in the Intercontinental Championship Tournament as he lost his Intercontinental Championship at Extreme Rules in the Extreme Trials Gauntlet match against Tommaso Ciampa, but Ciampa obviously has been suspended. So Seth Rollins, instead of getting a rematch, has been putting, has been put into the tournament next week. And what has not been said about these competitors? Eric Young, Alexander Wolf, and Baron Corbin. Last week, Sanity, after Zack Ryder and Kurt Hawkins defeated the B-Team, Sanity came in and attacked Kurt Hawkins and Zack Ryder. Maybe they're trying to cement a message that they want those Raw Tag Team titles at Clash of Champions. I mean, I wouldn't blame them. And Baron Corbin, I mean, the, the inclusion of Baron Corbin to Sanity has just been... Well, pardon the pun, but insanity. And just the facade of madness that is in this ring at the moment is just remarkable. I mean, just look at Baron Corbin compared to what he used to be to now. Like, Corbin is just insane. And Alexander Wolf and Baron Corbin will be representing Sanity in this tag team match here tonight. And what has not been said about these two? Bo Dallas and Curtis Axel. The B team. B team they have had a pretty pretty impressive you know stats as of late they almost won the Raw Tag Team Championships at Extreme Rules against Kurt Hawkins and Zack Ryder in a Tornado Tag Team match but but you see the thing about B, the B team is that nobody really has been taking them seriously almost has been thought as an afterthought by most I mean, Sanity basically, if you guys remember correctly, about a month ago, there was a match between, uh, if I'm correct, it was Kurt Hawkins and Bo Dallas, and out of nowhere, during that match, Sanity just started attacking all three, or all four men, rather, and, you know, they, Sanity just kind of made it about them, they didn't really, 
you know, they weren't letting them, letting Bo Dallas, Kerr Hawkins, Zack Ryder, Curtis Axel, and none of them have their moment. And, wait, was that, that was a blind tag that was made. I don't think Bo Dallas notices. And Baron Corbin with a flying forearm out of the corner. Just knocking down Bo Dallas. Baron Corbin, a former Golden Glove. And look at it. Oh! Baron Corbin just a clothesline into the corner. And you see Baron Corbin just look at his attire now. He's just... Oh! T-bone suplex from Baron Corbin. Dropping Bo Dallas straight down. Just Baron Corbin on the offensive this entire match. Tossing him into the corner. There's a tag made. And what is this now? Baron Corbin lifts him up. Oh! Diving throw suplex by Sanity. Shoulders are down. Could have it here. And Alexander Wolf. Alexander Wolf not able to put away Bo Dallas at the moment. Dallas fighting back with a punch to the gut. And now Alexander Wolf just going after. Going after the B team. And Curtis Axel looking to itching to get a tag to help out his tag team partner in this match. As Alexander Wolf drops him with a German suplex. And look at this now. Oh, belly to belly. Sanity former. Former NXT Tag Team Champions. Well, I wouldn't say former NXT Tag Team Champions because Baron Corbin uh, has never held the NXT Tag Team Champions. But Killian Dane has. Oh! Axe handle to the back. Shades of the Four Horsemen. And now Baron Corbin. Oh! Baron Corbin now has Bo Dallas. Russian leg sweep. Dropping him. And what is this now? Bo Dallas looking to get a tag. And he gets it, Curtis Axel. Curtis Axel is now in the match. And oh, wait. Oh, look at this. From the back. Oh. Well, that hype was short lived as Baron Corbin just. Oh, tossing Curtis Axel from one side of the ring to the other. Now, Baron Corbin. Look at that. Again. Tossing him to the other side. God. See what I mean? Just like an afterthought. Nobody takes him seriously as Baron Corbin drops Axel with a T-bone suplex. Could have it here. Shoulders are down. But Axel able to roll out of it. Eric Young just looking on. Eric Young just looking on as his sanity brothers just watch on. Or as he watches on. And now Curtis Axel. Oh. Well, Curtis Axel keeps getting these short bursts of momentum. But it's just executed quickly by by sanity just able to stop him before anything could happen look at this alexander wolf drops him with another german suplex i mean just the level of oh punishment that the b team is taking right now i mean alexander wolf god just a huge knife i don't know what you would call that the, uh if i remember correctly the jigo kutuki and oh Axel, now he's getting a burst of momentum with a body splash into the corner, but... Oh, Baron Corbin! See what I mean? Keeps getting momentum. Just quickly axed. But speaking of axe, Curtis Axel makes Bo Dallas. Gets the tag. There's a clothesline. And another sends Alexander Wolf out of the ring. Bo Dallas quickly wants to get this match over with. Curtis Axel just taking punishment. Oh! Well, now Alexander Wolf has Bo Dallas right where he wants him. I mean, I don't know how you can... I mean, I've never seen somebody put down momentum as quickly as Sanity. And look at this now. There's a tag. Oh! Punch to the face. Alexander Wolf now. Look at this. Baron Corbin right into the corner. And Alexander Wolf with an uppercut. Great teamwork there. And look at this now. Oh! Huge right hand to the side of the face. To Bo Dallas now. And what is this? Baron Corbin. Lifting up Bo Dallas. Look at... Oh! Scoop slam into a punch. Ingenuity here by Corbin. Oh! Here's another right hand. And what is this now? Baron Corbin. Oh, God. Just using his full body. Bo, Bo Dallas just... Just stopped dead in his tracks. And look at this now. Baron Corbin. Oh! God! It was like a choke slam into a backbreaker. And now, oh, look at it. Whoa, Bo Dallas, look at that. Bo Dallas able to roll out of it into a drop toe hold. And now Bo Dallas on the offensive. Had him right where he wanted him. But quickly shut off once again by Baron Corbin. And Curtis Axel into the match now. Oh, no, this isn't good. Baron Corbin just pretty much 
doing the exact same thing to Curtis Axel that he did the Bo Dallas. Curtis Axel, he's not in a good position. And Baron Corbin with a clothesline to the outside sends Curtis Axel. And look at this now, he's just looking at Alexander Wolf. And look at this now, Baron Corbin, look at this, end of days! Baron Corbin with the end of days. Shoulders are down, could have it here. Sanity picks up the win. Sanity able to pick up the win over the B team. Baron Corbin, Alexander Wolf, and Eric Young celebrating their victory as they wanted to get one step closer to the Raw Tag Team Championships. And ladies and gentlemen, there's Becky Lynch making her return next week. And speaking of returns, Ruby Riot as well making her return next week in the Fatal 4-Way. Yes, as the, they were talking about, a fatal four-way match. The winner will compete for the vacant WWE Women's Championship at Clash of Champions, which will involve Becky Lynch, Sasha Banks, Asuka, and Ruby Riot. And ladies and gentlemen, this is the second match in the Intercontinental Championship Tournament. And yes, what I was gonna say was that Mustafa Ali making his making his debut in the series. Mustafa Ali, an established cruiserweight, he looks to be in this tournament and to face Tony Nice. But who was opponent? Well, as we all know, he faced, he competed in the Extreme Trials match at Extreme Rules. The weekend rock star Noam Dar is gonna be Mustafa Ali's opponent here tonight. From Air Scotland, weighing in at 178 pounds, Noam Dar. Noam Dar, we all know, we all know what he's been trying to do. He's been trying to secure his legacy in WWE, try to compete in the King of the Ring tournament. But he didn't, was not successful as he was eliminated in the semi-final round by Tommaso Ciampa, pretty much injuring him. Then he competed in the Extreme Trials match and was quick and was after a grueling bout with Seth Rollins, was not able to secure the win and able to move on in the tournament or in the gauntlet rather. And tonight he looks to get more opportunities to be the Intercontinental Champion as he goes one on one with Mustafa Ali and as we all know there will be eight men in this tournament two matches two matches every week the two matches here tonight will be two first rounds and the next week will be the next two rounds and then the next and then the two after that will be the semifinals and this tournament will conclude at Clash of Champions and here we go Noam Dar look at this has Mustafa Ali in the corner I mean, the referee's got to get him out of there, or at least count. But now, oh, no, I'm Dar. Straight right hand to the nose of Mustafa Ali. Whoa. Oh, look at that. No, I'm Dar tried to go for the basement drop kick. Mustafa Ali just doing a quick, just a quick jump. And then into a drop kick. Just a huge uh, bout of hard hitting. Hard hitting just strikes at the moment. And now, no, I'm Dar. Has Mustafa Ali right where he wants him, wrenching the arm. And look at this now, Noam Dar just has has him by the wrist. God, just attacking the limbs, trying to make sure that he's not going to be able to hit any maneuvers. That's how Noam Dar is. He's crafty. And look at this now. Oh, trying to go for a fisherman suplex. Mustafa Ali rolls him up, 
Shoulders are down. Could have it here, too. And could he have it? No. No, if Dar able to roll out of it. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Back foot for style from Mustafa Ali. And now Mustafa dropping Noam Dar on his head with a neck breaker. Mustafa Ali's got his momentum going. But oh, look at this. Noam Dar with a basement drop kick. Able to knock Mustafa Ali's foundation straight down. And now Noam Dar. Look at that. Oh. Snap suplex. Has him down. Shoulders are down. No. Mustafa Ali. I mean just the amount of star power that is already in this Intercontinental Championship Tournament is amazing. And yet we still have four more people to go, which will be revealed next week. And now Mustafa Ali, oh, tossing Noam Dar to the outside. And ladies and gentlemen, Mustafa Ali looks to go high! Look at that! Just Mustafa Ali with a handspring for, with a handspring for style points. Just the high-flying nature of Mustafa Ali is almost just extra extraordinary to me. And now Noam Dar, look at this. Oh, drops him down into a crucifix. Noam Dar, he's been trying to... Oh! It's almost like he's been trying to secure the Intercontinental Championship as of late. And uh, if you guys don't know, Buddy Murphy... Uh, we haven't seen him ever since Extreme Rules. As Tommaso Ciampa put Buddy Murphy through a table with a pile driver off of the apron. And Buddy Murphy is, uh, I would say he's going to be taking a leave of absence. Because he's suffering really bad injuries off of that pile driver. Oh, no, and Dar, look at this. Oh, uppercut knocks Mustafa Ali off of his feet. And I mean, it's a kind of a shame, really. Buddy Murphy had a lot of, had a lot of future in Monday Night Raw, and now Noam Dar trying to go for a suplex, Mustafa Ali rolling out of it, oh look at that jumping neck breaker, dropping Mustafa, or er, dropping Noam Dar on his head, and now Mustafa Ali with a drop kick, and now Noam Dar trying to, trying to grab the ropes to get back, to get back to his own foundation, and now Mustafa Ali has Noam Dar, drops him with a drop kick, Mustafa Ali the messiah of the drop kick, it's almost... It's almost like I mean and if you know this this tournament will conclude at Clash of Champions where all championships will be on the line which happens which happens a lot but you know nonetheless but now Mustafa Ali is ready to fight oh no Mustafa Ali look at this has no Dar. look at this Wow jumping through the middle Rolls over into a neck breaker, has him down, shoulders are down, but Noam Dar are able to kick out before the three. That was an amazing, an amazing move, and hits a super kick on Noam Dar, able to knock him down. And what is this now? Mustafa Ali going to the top rope. What can he be thinking here? Oh, he calls this the 054, but Noam Dar puts his knees up to counter. God, he nearly, nearly knocked the wind out of Mustafa Ali. Look at that back body drop. Back body drop, able to knock Mustafa Ali. You know, in a oh, staggering. And now look at this, uh, targeting the legs. If you target the legs, Mustafa Ali is not going to be able to do these types of high flying maneuvers. So great strategy by the weekend rock star. And look at this now, no him, Dar. Tried to hit a move off of the off of the springboard, but Mustafa Ali able to move out of the way before anything could happen. And the referee has to count as Mustafa Ali has not has not gotten to the ring. And now Mustafa Ali tried to go for a drop kick. Noam Dar just swatting him like a fly. And what is this now? Noam Dar just look at that. Just he's like a shark. He's just surveying his prey. And what is this now? Oh, Ali just a boot to the nose. Able to knock, able to, not not really, but concuss Noam Dar, kind of caught him off guard, and now Mustafa Ali, look at this, Irish whip, oh Noam Dar counters, what is this now, Mustafa Ali, whoa, look at that, oh, huge kick to the face, goes Noam, goes Mustafa Ali, and now Mustafa Ali, Noam Dar counters with an enziguri of his own, and now he has Noam 
now knowing Dar has Mustafa Ali right where he wants him on top rope. What could happen here? What is happening? No, I'm Dar with a superplex off of the top. Now I'm Dar drops him with a superplex, and now no I'm Dar measuring Mustafa Ali. There you go. Champagne and Zaguri could have it here. Shoulders are down. It's over. Two. Yes, no! Mustafa Ali rolls the shoulder up. This match is not finished. I honestly thought that was it. I thought Mustafa Ali didn't have anything left in the tank. I thought he was just gonna thought he was just gonna lay down and take the pin. And now oh, now Mustafa Ali just fighting back. Trying to use all the all the momentum that he can to take down Noam Dar. And what is this now? Mustafa Ali with a neck breaker. And now Mustafa Ali. Look at this. Moving Noam Dar into position. What is he gonna try? He, is he gonna go for the 054 once again? Yes, he is! 054! One! Two! Three! No! Noam Dar kicks out. Noam Dar kicks out of the 054. And now Noam Dar and Mustafa Ali just fighting even harder, hitting harder, moving faster, stronger. Pardon the pardon the Daft Punk reference, but I had to. And now Mustafa Ali looking to fly once again. Oh, Noam Dar rolls out of the way. Mustafa Ali landed on his feet, but was not able was not able to counter in time as Noam Dar dropped him with a basement drop kick. Just keeps targeting the legs of Mustafa. Now Mustafa is just on the outside, has nowhere to go. I mean, this may be it for both of these men. I mean, you gotta think of all the damage that they've taken in this match thus far. Oh! Huge chop of Mustafa Ali fighting back with his own. Look at this, Noam Dar going for a power bomb. Mustafa Ali able to roll Noam Dar up. Shoulders are down into the into a Hurricane Ron position, good to have it here, but no, no, I'm Dar. No, I'm Dar able to get out of it before Mustafa Ali could, oh! Well, I was gonna say counter, but it looks like no, I'm Dar countered that neck breaker into a neck breaker of his own. Oh, right to the face. And no, I'm Dar now, look at that. Just feeling the energy of the WWE Universe. Mustafa Ali says, no, I'm not being put down like this. And oh! No, I'm Dar just, Look at the, look at the pink on Mustafa Ali. Just, it's taking a lot out of him to stay in this match. And what is this now? Mustafa Ali's got him by the, oh, by the arm. And what is this now? Mustafa Ali, rolling Noam Dar up into the schoolboy position. Could have it here. Shoulders are down. Could have it. Mustafa Ali, able to get the win. Noam Dar. Mustafa Ali is moving on and will face Tony Nese in the second round. Are you kidding me? Noam Dar cannot believe it. Noam Dar thinks it wasn't even a three, but it was clearly a three count. Well, now Mustafa Ali will face Tony Nese and will move on to the semifinals. And if you missed it last week, our huge six-man battle royal to determine the WWE Championship number one contender, you can see Rusev just clearing house but when it came down to the final two, Dolph Ziggler and, no and Rusev just kept fighting and fighting when Ziggler was able to hit a sweet chin music out of the ring to eliminate, to eliminate Rusev. And it looks like the WWE Champion has something to say about that battle royal. I mean, if I had to guess, it would be to, I don't know, maybe to congratulate. Maybe to congratulate the WWE number one contender. I mean, there were six men in that tournament. Noam Dar, Alistair Black, Rusev, Dolph Ziggler, and I can't continue because AJ Styles is about to speak.
Well, Dolph Ziggler is not going to take too kindly to the to the harsh words of AJ Styles. AJ Styles saying that that AJ that he's never relied on anybody, but Dolph Ziggler has relied on everybody his whole life. But right now, this is going to be a war of words between these two. It looks like. I mean, Dolph Ziggler. I mean, he's. I would think he's angry, but he, he looks very content right now. I mean, well, what does Dolph Ziggler got to say to the WWE Champion? The man he will face at Clash of Champions. Speaks bullshit. Very, very personal words, I would say, between Dolph Ziggler and AJ Styles. As they will go one-on-one -on -one for the WWE title at Clash of Champions. And there you go, there is our current tournament bracket. As you can see, half of it is not filled in, as we have no idea. Well, we can move, probably move in Seth Rollins in there. But, but, you know, we don't really know when he will be fighting. And ladies and gentlemen... We are moving on to our main event, the Triple Threat Match. The winner will go to Clash of Champions and face the United Kingdom Champion, Pete Dunne. And we all know all the men that are going to be in this match have had several opportunities. And some have actually achieved Drew McIntyre. As we all know, former Raw Tag Team Champion with Dolph Ziggler. Alistair Black had, is a King of the Ring winner. And, and nearly defeated Bobby Roode and AJ Styles in a steel cage at Extreme Rules last week. Or last month. And, and Andrade Cien Almas competed in the Extreme Trials match. And got pretty far. He eliminated the Intercontinental Champion, Seth Rollins. And almost defeated Buddy Murphy. But that's in the past. Now is the present. As Drew McIntyre making his presence known. There he is. The Scottish Psychopath. Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre, we all know his story, had an amazing match with Dolph Ziggler at Extreme Rules, a Falls Count Anywhere match. I mean, a very hard-hitting bout, very personal, and Drew McIntyre was not able to secure a victory. 
but he looks to secure a victory here tonight and achieve a United Kingdom Championship shot at Clash of Champions, where all championships and all the matches will be championship matches. And, you know, Drew McIntyre, he's not going to pass up an opportunity like that. The last time he was in a Raw, he was in a championship match, he won, well, he lost the title, but... But when he was given a champi a championship match, he won them. But then Dolph Ziggler, according to Drew McIntyre, Dolph Ziggler cost them the Raw Tag Team Champions. But I mean, he can only blame himself and Dolph. They're a team. They had to work as a unit. And this man... El Idolo himself, Andrade Cien Almas. And Andrade, we all know, we all know that he, he's had some run-ins in the past couple weeks. I mean, until last week he was in a match with Jinder Mahal, and out of nowhere, Jinder Mahal hit him with a low blow which caused the gender of Mahal to match. But after, pretty much just said, I didn't want this match. Jinder Mahal hit the low blow, then just hit a Colossus on Andrade Cien Almas. But tonight, Andrade looks to secure a championship that, a championship he never thought he'd get to see in the light of day. I don't think any of these men would think that they would see this championship either. I mean, Aleister Black, former NXT champion. Actually, all of these men are NXT champions, now that I think about it. But they look to get that United Kingdom championship under their wing. And, you know, this is a triple threat match, so you, you don't have to be pinned to lose the match. And here we go, Aleister Black, Drew McIntyre, and Andrade Cien Almas. All three in the ring at once. Here we go. As Alistair Black. Oh, look at that. Andrade seeing Almas drops McIntyre with a drop kick. Alistair looked like he went for a mushroom sh mushroom stomp on Alistair. Or on, a Drew on Andrade. And now Drew McIntyre. Look at that. Reverse DDT. Dropping Andrade seeing Almas right on his face. There's a chop from the Scottish Psycho. And oh, God. McIntyre just attacking the inside leg of the leader of the Black Mass. And what is this now? Andrade has McIntyre. Drops him down. Backbreaker into a final cut. And now Andrade going after Aleister Black. I mean, this is the thing about... Oh, the thing about triple threat matches. You need to be aware of all your surroundings. You, oh, can't just worry about one person. You need to worry about all of your opponents. Because when your back is turned, they could be hitting, a, hitting their finisher and getting the pinfall. But... Right now, look at this, everybody's just trapped in the corner. And now, Drew McIntyre almost saving Andrade from Aleister Black. Oh, into the corner. Aleister Black and Andrade. What is this now? Drew McIntyre! Drops him with a body splash. McIntyre clearly has the, hi the height and size difference. And strength distance. Or strength of... Uh, advantage and look at this now Drew McIntyre hammerlock backbreaker back suplex from Drew from Drew McIntyre oh huge chop you can hear that from all the way over here and now Drew McIntyre has Alistair look at that tossing him over with a belly to belly suplex and now Drew McIntyre and Andrade seeing Almas fighting in the middle of the ring look at that just fighting back with huge huge strikes on each other Look at this, Andrade drops McIntyre down. Double barrel. Boots to the side of the head. And now Andrade seeing Almas ready. Oh no, McIntyre was, was quicker on the draw. And now Andrade, look at that, lands on his feet. Oh, huge chop from Andrade seeing Almas to Drew McIntyre. And now Andrade firing at, Andra at Aleister Black. And what is this now? Andrade has Drew McIntyre right where he wants him. Look at that. Tornado Seafire, and now Alistair Black dropping Andrade Cien Almas with a bicycle knee strike. Alistair Black 
Look at this. Could be having the pinfall here. Shoulders are down. And no, Andrade Cien Amas. Able to kick out. This match has just been hard hitting from the get go. And look at that now. Alistair Black showing his intimidating self. As he. Oh, look at this. Does it again. But I don't think he noticed. Drew McIntyre got in the ring. McIntyre just hits him right in the face with. With. I don't know what kind of boot that Drew McIntyre has, but it's got to be at least at least size 16. And now Alistair Black has Andrade. Oh, no, 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 Andrade, he's not going to have that. He's not going to let Alistair Black take control of him. Look at that. Oh, drops him down. Backbreaker into a final cut once again. And look at this. Off the ropes, Andrade drops him with an axe handle. And Oh, McIntyre, huge headbutt to the face. Of El Idolo. And now Andrade Cien Amas. Not in a good position. McIntyre. Oh! Another headbutt. Drop. Just knocking. Almost knocking Andrade Cien Amas. Straight out. And then Drew McIntyre now. Has Andrade right where he wants him. Throws him onto the. Throws him onto the apron. I thought he was going to have. McIntyre thought he had him on the outside. And now. Look at this now. Oh! Andrade! Look at that, countering with the Enziguri off the top with a drop kick. Knocking Drew McIntyre out of the equation. It's now Andrade Cien Amas and Aleister Black one on one in the middle of the ring. What is this now? Andrade loading up on Aleister Black. Look at this. Andrade cartwheel, pigly kick. Good night, Aleister Black. But look at this. Drew McIntyre quick on the draw, breaks up the pinball. And look at this now. McIntyre. Tossing him. Just a huge suplex toss. Able to able to just just power Andrade over his head. And McIntyre, look at that. Just oh Alistair Black counters with his own chop. Alistair Black drops him with a gun stun. Hooks the leg. Shoulders are down, but McIntyre able to roll out of it. Andrade seeing Almas trying to get back to his feet. As Drew McIntyre and uh, Alistair Black. Just firing away on each other in the middle of the mat, in the middle of the ring. Oh, McIntyre counters the suplex. And what is this now? Look at that! Double drop kick. Oh, well, Aleister Black lands on his feet. Well, didn't really get stunned by it. But Drew McIntyre definitely did as McIntyre is now on the outside. Oh, Yokosuka Cutter from Andrade Cien Almas. I mean, these two men in the ring right now, they've both had amazing matches. One, one match I would like to state at... NXT TakeOver New Orleans, where Aleister Black became the NXT Champion. And, you know, all these men won. Oh! Andrade seeing Almas with a low blow. Perfectly legal in this match. Perfectly legal in this match. Andrade seeing Almas now. He's on the offensive. Has everybody in control. Is ready to have. Ready to get the pinfall. Ready to face Pete Dunne. At Clash of Champions, but now Aleister Black rolled back into the ring quickly. He already saw that Andrade was starting to take control. Aleister Black, or Andrade Cien Almas rather, just knocked out the referee by mistake. It looked like he tried to go for a Hurricane Rana, but Aleister Black was not in distance, but the referee was unfortunately was unfortunately in the way. So now Aleister Black and the referee are just in similar conditions right now, as they're both just knocked out. And now Andrade Cien Almas looks to take Aleister Black out of the equation. Look at this. Andrade tossing Aleister Black onto the apron. And what is this now? Andrade Cien Almas has Aleister Black. Look at this. Drops him with a DDT on the apron. Good God. Well, good night, Aleister Black. And look at that. Hurricane Rana. Hurricane Rana from Andrade Cien Almas. Ready to take down McIntyre. All he's got to do is make sure that... Oh, look at that! Another Hurricane Rana. And Aleister Black... Look at this! Wait a minute! Jinder Mahal! Oh! Right to the face of Andrade Cien Almas. And what is this now? Jinder Mahal! No! Coloss! Hits the Coloss on Andrade Cien Almas. McIntyre rolling into the pinfall. Come on, ref! Pinfall! One! Two! Three! Drew McIntyre is going to Clash of Champions. But with a huge assist from Jinder Mahal, Drew McIntyre will be moving on to Clash of Champions. 
to face the United Kingdom champion Pete Dunne. I mean, very screwy conditions that this match ended. But thank you, everybody, for joining Monday Night Raw this week. We will see you next time.